Okay, so this is an IELTS September 2018 question. Talk about something that you wear only for special occasions. Please say what is it, where and when did you buy it, and how do you feel when you wear it? So before we come to the question, um, this is about the brainstorming part. Remember that you have to invest the one minute very wisely. So once you're brainstorming, quickly jot down the points related to this topic. So you have to you, you have just one minute and you have to use it very wisely. Okay. Um, I'll paste a link to um, one of my articles on how exactly you should think about various points. Um, that point is that that article is basically about two ways of thinking. One is a human way of thinking. Another is the mechanical way of thinking. And IELTS people prefer the human way of thinking and speaking, not the mechanical way. But that's for that particular article. If you're interested, I'll paste a link below this YouTube video and you can browse that article as well. Read it and try to implement the principles. Let us come to this question. So let us quickly think about various points. So what is it? Before you come, what is it? You should be very clear about um, what, what exactly are the options? So what are the options in this case? What are the things that you can wear? Well, you can wear a number of things. You can wear a, a piece of jewelry. You can wear a pair of shoes. Um, a particular dress. These are things that come at the top of our mind. So usually it's the dress, but you can also talk about shoes or jewelry. And these items broadly fall into two categories. All these items, they can be either traditional or they can be modern. Okay, so for example, you belong to France and you are a Frenchman. You're French and you can talk about a traditional piece of shoes which particularly belong to Renaissance period. So, um, or you are an American and you want to talk about um, traditional dresses that perhaps the initial, the first, one of the first American presidents, um, George Washington, or um, and, and name any of them, Johnson, uh, President Johnson perhaps, 1964, um, perhaps he used to wear a particular type of clothes. So talk about something traditional, something modern, perhaps you want to talk about the Gucci dress that you love to wear on a particular occasion. I'm sorry for that. Okay, or um, an Armani suit. Anything, anything. You can talk about a belt. Let me change the color. Yeah, you can talk about a piece of belt. You can talk about a belt, a um, particular necktie. There are numerous options. If you think about them, there are numerous options out of which you can choose the most appropriate. You can talk about their color, their design. It all depends upon the traditional versus modern approach you're taking. Okay, so um, you have to be very clear. Uh, you choose any one of them, jewelry, shoes, dress, belt, necktie, or anything, and uh, choose whether you want to talk about traditional or modern, and speak that very clearly. Okay, when and where did you buy it? Uh, as I highlight in this article, and I placed a link below, um, it should be in the form of a story. Uh, prefer it in the form of a story. Don't simply say that I bought it from XYZ place in Paris. Create a story. It was my birthday. Okay, It was my birthday and my dad gifted it. Or it was my marriage anniversary and my wife gifted it to me. Okay, So talk about anything. I bought it from my first salary. My first salary. So create a proper storyline. We are humans. We are we are story animals. And if you give a proper story, you will have a better impact in what it is, what it is, and where and when did you buy it. So don't don't simply say I I often wear a piece of jewelry. Create a story around it. Um, that regularly I don't usually I do not wear a piece of jewelry, but on special occasions such as birthday parties and for marriage anniversary functions or for special events. I prefer wearing a particular piece of jewelry which is traditional Indian jewelry, for example. 
to just make a story, a short story. Now, the most important question, how do you feel? How do you feel about it? So, feel is a question that most students are unable to answer. Well, you just don't have to simply say the feeling. You have to create, again, a small story. Not a necessarily story, but a small explanation. So what are the sort of feelings that you can encounter over here? So the story, the feelings can be, um, you can feel special. Why do you feel special? Because people give you attention. They ask you, they ask you, what's, where did you buy this? Um, that makes you feel special. Nobody is wearing that thing. So you feel unique. You're wearing a unique stuff and that makes you feel stand out of the crowd. So you feel stand, you are you stand out of the crowd. Okay, so that's a feeling, right? And other is you feel very happy. And why do you feel happy? Perhaps you feel special. That makes you feel happy, but you are happy because perhaps the item is very very comfortable. Okay, it's not made of the regular stuff. It's not the regular stuff but it is made up of special material, special material. So perhaps the silk is about 100 years old. It is hand woven, okay? So you can name the, name the you can um, clearly speak about the nature of the material. You can name the material as well if you have some extensive knowledge. So why do you feel special? Why do you feel happy? You can also be proud of the position. Can be proud of it because perhaps it's a very expensive item and most people cannot afford it so it makes you feel special it makes you feel proud that I am somebody um, who can afford this expensive item okay so uh, what I mean to say is that how do you feel about it you simply do not have to say that I feel special when I wear this item why do you feel special what is the reason so these are the set of reasons that you should keep in mind and you have to do all this stuff within one minute so you have to quickly think about the item whether it's traditional or modern explain it a bit if, if possible then build a story where and why did you buy it quickly right uh, birthday party France Spain or any country name the city uh, perhaps a store you can also talk about a watch you bought a Rolex watch from Hong Kong um, then how does it make you feel? Quickly jot it down and I'm sure that if you can invest this one minute wisely, it will make wonders for your exam. So I hope you like this video and you like the way I explain the things. If you really, really want some good advice, just follow this channel. Follow my Facebook page as well as my website. Thank you for watching.